app attracts a lot of attention. How you doing? Great, how about yourself? <laughs> well, well, no. I was saying that y'all wanted to see something very special. <gasps> Bro, <laughs> you don't even need the lights on. Look at the glow on the wall. <laughs> Bro. Guys, last video, if you missed it, we just got done doing a custom wrap and new wheels on the Corvette. That is our giveaway car right now. And man, this thing is bright, dude. Even though we don't need the lights, let's go ahead and get these things kicked on. Oh my, that thing looks good. Guys, go to itsjustasix.com right now. Grab entries in to win this car because we have a huge entry event going on right now. You can get anything off the website and every dollar spent is gonna go a really long ways. This car is about to get very epic. We've got a lot of engine changes and performance stuff coming soon. The looks is just the start. Today we're gonna be taking this thing out for some photos. Don't fall. But before we get out on the road with this thing, since there isn't necessarily a normal day of travel in Atlanta, I'm gonna get this dash camera installed into here just in case anything happens i already know you guys are gonna be blowing up the comments so as you guys see yes the 67 is in the shop it is on the lift and over here on the table we are about to get started installing this absolutely sick ess supercharger kit so you guys are gonna see that next video don't miss out oh shit Figured I would get a dash cam installed in here before we left, just in case. These dash cams are made by Vanture, guys. If you want to check out Vanture, you can click the link down below or just go to their website, but they have all kinds of cool backup cameras. This is the rear camera, believe it or not. And this big old monster here is the front camera. These things capture amazing quality footage. Yeah. It's got a cabin camera for capturing reactions and all that good stuff. And of course the windshield cam here for just in case anything happens in front of you. So once you get it all opened up, snap it together like that. You just mount this in the windshield, connect power to it right there, and you're literally done. Super easy. Put it right there, oh, pow. Perfect. Come on. Yes, sir. There you go. All right. Now it looks a little bit ratchet right now. We'll get that fixed up. We'll get that fixed up. Don't worry. And the outlet doesn't work. I love that. Will this one work? Ah, there we go. All right. So another thing to fix. We'll add that to the list. And there we have it. Yeah, that thing looks good too. Now I just got to grab an SD card. We're good to go. Let's see if this battery is going to start. Let's go. Thank you. Oh yeah, guys, by the way, our new license plate covers are on the website right now. And our old ones, you guys used to complain about being plastic, they'd break, it was a big issue. Don't worry, these, them are aluminum, baby. All right, let me back this thing out. Ugh. 20 minutes later. Why are you laughing? Nah, I'm sorry. I know That's you a are. one of one. No, oh, I just okay. know who you are. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know if that was a bad laugh. No, 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 no. I, was I, like, I stopped you because you ain't got a tag on me. Oh, okay. I got you. I just recognized who you were. I got you. It's a giveaway car, so we have the information. We have the title that just came in, but the guy had a lien on it, so he didn't have the title in hand when I bought it. So I wasn't able to register it that day and get a plate. Is this the one you bought a little while ago? Yeah, it was a piece of crap when we bought it, but we've been slowly but surely fixing it up and everything. And we just got a wrap and wheels and about to put a built engine in it. This one's smoking and got a lot of problems, so. All right, you got your driver's license? I do, yes sir. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All righty. Coincidentally, somebody off of TikTok called into the same department saying that we had a C6 Corvette at the house that was stolen. All right, Gavin, do me a favor. Yes, sir. All right. You only got seven days as a private seller. Oh, okay. I didn't know that, honestly. Yeah. So I you thought only it was get, 30. I you apologize. only get 30 from a dealership. Okay, that makes sense. Just get it, just get it titled, put in your name, do what you right. got to do and okay. register it. Yes, sir, absolutely. Um, it sticks out like a sore thumb. I know, it does now especially. It yes. didn't, we didn't make it any better. It looks like a I, tennis ball going I down the road. <laughs> I saw, like, your well, I, I saw your face. I saw your face. <laughs> uh, uh, and then all, all you can see is a black. Yeah, a license plate. License yeah. So, um, like I said, seven days is what you have from a private dealer. Okay. Or a private Seller. citizen. Yeah. Right. Okay. Dealerships, you get 30 days. Unless you talk to the DMV, you can get a little more. Now. Right. Okay. 
Okay. Just get it registered in your name. Yeah, that sure. Way we don't okay. Have to worry about it. I know no it's a problem. dealership or a, a giveaway car, but but still, yeah. You don't want to keep driving it. You end up going to get cited right. at some point. Yeah, absolutely. By somebody. And we did just get the title in the mail like two days ago, or right before the weekend. So we yeah, we'll I mean, be able I know to do that be now. A headache, but get it in your yeah, name. No, and then no, no when problem you give it at away, all. They can figure that out. When, yeah, absolutely. You give it away. Right. All okay. right. Cool deal, man. Right, man. Thank you so much. Very nice to meet you, by the way. Take care, man. You too. The very first outing in the tennis ball fat, and it is just. <laughs> it is too bright man getting pulled over right off the rip i can't believe that bro and to top it off the tires were smoking the entire way because as you got hot the entire way bro. anyway as you can see oh my goodness there is oh man luckily in the shop we have a fix for this though let's get this thing moved in now the corvette it's already rubbing because it's low. <laughs> and we're gonna make it even longer. So cool enough, guys, the same people that run Cosmos Wheels over there, as you guys see, we just unboxed those for the new Suburban project. They own Silvers. And as soon as they saw the Corvette project, they were like, hey man, we should definitely send you over some of these coilovers and you let us know what you think about them. So we're gonna install these, get this thing aligned, camber our wheels a little bit more so that way we get rid of these rubbing fenders and it will result in this car being lower with lower center of gravity, which means much more stable driving at high speeds and handling just through the roof, especially with these new wheels and tires, we really gotta take advantage of that. These get rid of the Corvette's leaf spring suspension in the front and rear, which is kind of goofy. It's literally like 60s technology on these really ridiculously nice Corvettes. So we're gonna change that, man. We're gonna upgrade these to these Neo Max coilovers. Ooh, dude, fully adjustable, of course, as you see. And everything about this is some serious quality, dude. Honestly, the coolest part about this is that I have never had coilovers on a Corvette before. Only in the past have we done lowering bolts and left the stock style suspension. So this is gonna be pretty awesome, completely revising and changing it all up and making it way more capable. As you see up front, Poe's already removed the wheels off of the car. Okay, Corvettes already handle so freaking good, but putting coilovers on all four corners is really just going to change the game entirely. In the back back here, you guys can see this mono leaf. Yeah, we already removed that out of the front, but this is the suspension off of the Corvette, dude. It's so strange. There is an actual leaf spring, like you would see in a truck on the rear axle, but instead of it going front to back on the vehicle across the axle, it actually goes across from left to right, but we're replacing it with all in one units like this, so. <sighs> these are already preset for preload and everything, so all we gotta do is install these, dude. Huge, huge shout out to Silvers. All right, that looks pretty solid, man. Let me go ahead and roll this floor jack up under here. I can lift up on the lower control arm and get the lower portion of the coilover connected. I gotta go up like another, like another one inch from there. That's yeah, that's the best spacer you could almost get. Oh, dude, it just fits so perfectly in there too. Oh yeah, it's lifting up just beautifully. So now we can let pressure off and everything should stay there. Yeah. Funniest part about all of this is that we're actually running on a pretty good timeline here. Uh, we have to be to the alignment shop in like two hours. Torque spec, yes. So now that the coilover is tight, everything is in place looking good. We can get started installing the upper control arm back into place here. After that, a few more components and we'll have one corner done. Get in now. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're about to get started installing the rears now that the fronts are done. But first, we gotta pull that giant leaf spring out. Taking the bounce out of this tennis ball. Would you right. like a leaf, sir? I would like a leaf. Thank you for my leaf. Oh, you're welcome. Get that brought over here. Come on. Drop this down a little bit. A little bit more. All right. Now we can take this and I think that was it there we go oh yeah so now you can see that it's bent out through this hole and it's still adjusting so now at this point we just got to get everything back connected we're good to go so hopefully these are going to camber the back wheels in give it a little bit more tilt so that way instead of hitting the fenders it tilts in and is tucked properly up inside of this fender here so we're going to see all right front can go back up I'm really, really excited to set this in the room. <laughs> wow, you really weren't playing. It is almost too wide to fit through here. 13 inch wide wheel real quick. I'm excited to see how much better this thing rides, drives, handles, turns. It's gonna be just, oh, it's gonna be so good. And here we go. 
It's not that bad. The fronts, yeah, but they're cambered up there more. Dang, oh my, dude, Put that's some, yo, that's some good fitment. That is next level, yo, okay. That looks good. All right, let's go ahead and get the Mustang pulled out. We're running late at this point, so we've got to get this thing on the road. One hour later. Dude, okay, that looks so much better. That is definitely way, 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 way better. As you guys can see, we were at a degree and a half of camber in the left front. Now we're at 2.4 degrees, dude. So instead of whenever the wheel was sitting up, we've cambered it in a little bit. It's tucking inside of that fender just ever so perfectly now. And now in the rear, we were at just over a degree. We're at just at two degrees now. So it is definitely fitting way, way better. We have no more concerns about that, dude. I mean, it just like really doesn't get better than this. This is cool, man. Again, 20 times entries to win this car. We are overbuilding this C6, dude, but you can win this thing at itsjustasix.com. And if you think all of the suspension, the looks, everything that we've done so far to this thing is cool, just wait until we get whatever is going under the hood. I'm excited to see how this feels, dude. It already felt good before, but I could tell it was still a little wonky being that we had no good alignment on here, but this time, this drive is probably things that you're oh doing consistently God. on a daily basis. Oh yeah. Now the steering feels good. Oh. Dude. <laughs> the suspension and everything feels so good on this. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna tell you that this is how the freaking Corvette should have come from factory and I'm bummed that they didn't come with coilovers. Independent suspension in compared to like one spring per front and rear. Oh, you can feel it. Like every bump and everything, the car is stable and each wheel is like actually modulating rather. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rather than like something hits the That's back left and the whole left. rear end wants to hop up. Nah, hell no. Nah. Bro, come stand right here. It's like perfect. It is, bro. What? No more rubbing That's at all, nice. even in turns, even whenever it's loaded, like nothing. I don't think you could have put in anything bigger on this. No I way, no shot. A 355, bigger. that's as big as you can go. Dude, if somebody does wider good. than this without doing like a super vets kit with a huge, huge wide body, I'm impressed. It just doesn't even make sense almost. <laughs> this has become the coolest C6 that we have ever had on the channel for sure. We did Le Mans, you know, that car was all right. This is freaking insane i really love this car now i actually have a new love for this thing all right we're gonna pull this thing in we got to do an oil change on it but as soon as we get in the shop i've got something crazy to show you guys for the burb okay first off before we start, start installing anything we've got to put these valve stem caps on oh, yeah. it's super important road trip essentials oh they spiked oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> <Where's> <laughs> <the stock wheel? laughs> Somebody's gonna see us in public and be like, they are. That was cool. I that. <laughs> yeah, fact. I think it should stay. Dude, there. guys, these valve stem caps look pretty horrible. Um, we're not gonna show the brand so we don't roast them. But I will say that if you wanna grab some valve stem caps for your car that look really good, you can go to itsjustasix.com. This looks like you gotta wear a choker or something I'm like to have. Say, like a chain attached to your wallet yeah <laughs> chain attached to the wallet is hitting yeah that's it for sure <laughs> enough goofing around you guys want to see what we're getting for the bird project everybody was saying that y'all wanted to see something very special <gasps> oh my gosh dude all right y'all are gonna laugh we got with max peating rods and they sent us over this turbo and also holy moly look at this thing Is that the cover oh, it's cold <laughs> dude tell me that that does it look it's got purple marks on it and it's gold I forgot about the wheels. Dog, too. come on. This is gonna be epic. So based on your knowledge, oh, based on your knowledge, how long do you think this turbo is gonna last us? Anywhere from an hour to a week. <laughs> to a week? 
<laughs> guys, so as you've seen, we have run some very expensive, crazy turbos like Precision and all that good stuff. Max Peating Rides comes in clutch because they offer turbo solutions for the budget buyers out there that want to build something like what we're building here. This thing is just for fun after all, and this turbo is going to serve for a lot of smiles per gallon for sure. We got a turbo for the burb. <laughs> it's a turb. It's a turb. Turb burb. No. Yeah, you like that? Hey, where are you going? You scared? You can't be scared of horsepower. Come here. Natara, you want to ride in the boosted burb? Natara? <laughs> Natara? Natara? Do you want to? Do you want to? <laughs> oh. <gasps> That's so crazy, dude. These are the headers. So as you can see, oh my gosh, dude. That is insanity. Yeah, V-Man, cast. Wow. We just have a few more boxes to wait on to come in. Once everything comes in, we will have a full turbo kit. We've been racking up some miles on this car pretty quickly, dude. It has been used like a freaking Mustang should. Honestly, really excited for everything that we have coming. This car has been really awesome on street and on track. Huge shout out to Lethal, by the way. You can use the code, it's just a six to save a ton off of their parts. We threw their camber plates, springs, and a bunch of other goodies on here for handling in the rear, if you guys saw that in the past video. And it's just, it has been so awesome. And to be honest, dude, it, it's, it's gonna be an interesting one to take this and the Corvette to the track and see which one gets a faster track time. I couldn't tell you which one would. Genuinely couldn't tell you. Probably Corvette, huh? Probably Corvette. Yeah, probably Corvette. That car with a stroker, this car with a Whipple, what's, what's winning? Well, I mean, you can find out. Well, we got the stroker on the way, we just need to freaking get a Whipple. All right, up we go. It'll be cool to get under here and do an inspection for the first 5,000 miles, see how it looks. All right, let's go do an inspect. Suspension all still looks great. I don't see anything backing out, no loose bolts. Shoot. I do see something. What do you see? There ain't no way less in it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> all right, let me prep this oil filter. Fill her up, fill her up, fill her up, fill her up. Do 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 do. Make sure you all your O ring. Do 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 do. Wow. My favorite part. <laughs> what do I? I don't know. What would you reckon? I just don't want to get burned. Oh shit. Well, I don't know how. This would take a while. There's ten quarts in there. Ten quarts. <laughs> In cords. Let's lower it down. <laughs> brother. Hey, brother. This, ow, this here is fing hot. Oh, risky. <laughs> what if it actually. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, look at how dirty that AMS oil is. That's what yeah, I want to say um about. Brother, what do you mean? You I can't have to hit the... <gasps> oh, wait, is this open? Is Why this... is this happening? Wait, what do you mean? <gasps> wait. <laughs> it, look, it's about to overflow. <laughs> My man, it, it's literally right there. My man plugged it. <laughs> Bro. It's hot. Yeah, I let it out. No, I can't. It's literally about to overflow. Why? Oh, it's because that's blocking. <laughs> the tree plug. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> drain plug's blocking it. It's a drain plug that fell out. It's not fluid from draining. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's hot. It's so hot. It's, My thumb is burning. It's right still now. right here. <laughs> okay, what about if I put this down in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah let me yeah, try that. Yeah, let me yeah. try that. Oh. <gasps> Stop. <laughs> Wait. Do you have it or not? Wait. Oh. Dude, my thumb is burning. Okay, let it out. Wait. Okay, yeah, let it out. Okay, there we go. It's draining. I'm holding it out for just a second. I got some good news for you. Do I have it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's barely got it. It's got it. Brother, it's chugging. That oil really doesn't look clean. Yeah, that's, that's the worst AMS oil I've ever changed. I'm happy I've ever changed this. Well, that's a lot of driving. Yeah, and hard driving too at that. Yeah, it's been on the track a few times. <laughs> can, you, can you grab it? Oh, fuck. oh, don't let that go down there. <laughs> All right. That was fun. We need to invest in a new funnel system. I think it's more fun doing this. I don't time. like it. It's scary every time. <laughs> it's 
something new happens. <laughs> it's a new adventure every time you take the oil out of a car. Yeah. Something that should be so simple. Yeah. And last time this happened, everybody was roasting us saying, why didn't you just lower the car down? Well, that's why. It's hard either way. Exactly, yeah. It would have went exactly like that if it would have just turned it down before. Now that there was fun, man. If you're ever bored on a Saturday, you want something to do, try and pull your drain plug with a magnet. Ow. Love that. 